This week marks 40 years since the killing of Vincent Chin. This week, the Asian American community in Detroit will have remembrance events in his honor. A ceremony unveiling a mural of Chin happening earlier today. Chin is a Chinese American auto worker who was beaten to death in a perceived hate crime on the night of his bachelor party. The incident giving birth to modern day Asian American civil rights movement. These next four days are designed to amplify the shared history that took place right here in Detroit to tell the real story of how Detroit became the epicenter for a movement that reached across America and globally. The mural of Vincent Chin is in the area that was once known as Detroit's Chinatown. Ironically, this all comes amid a heightened climate of anti-Asian hate spurred by the pandemic. Today, people in our own community are still experiencing racism and xenophobia. 7 Action News reporter Amira David introduces us to a dance studio owner trying to dance through the pain of uncertain times. And the fact is that Ronald Ebens killed Vincent Chin with a baseball bat. Charles Kaufman pronounced the sentence, three years probation. There was a nationwide furor with members of the Chinese American community expressing outrage and anger. It was 1982. A Chinese American man had been beaten to death, perceived by many as a hate crime. The killers had walked away jail free and the tragedy had sparked a nationwide civil rights movement. What can be done about such a lenient sentence and the feeling that justice had not been done. In the 40 years since the killing of Vincent Chin, we've seen new laws around hate crimes, sentencing guidelines and victims' rights. But the one thing that has seemingly not changed, the task of eradicating Asian American hate. Today, the front door of Jury Jung's Art Lab J remains locked, the curtain often closed. The modern contemporary dancer from South Korea never thought much about security when deciding to open this dance studio in 2012. But when the pandemic hit, she'd turn into a target overnight. It began in March of 2020 with a hate hacking incident over Zoom. Why you gave me the coronavirus? Hey, um, well, you gave me the coronavirus. She recalls another encounter while teaching a dance class, a group of teens furiously banging on the windows outside. We just turn back to and then just waiting until they leave. Because if we reacting, if I react in that, it could be go worst. How does it make you feel having to do something like that? I'm worried about my kids. They're living in Detroit. They're going to public schools. They look just like me. Sadly, it did not stop there. In two years, she's faced seven different harassment incidents. Were you scared? Every day. Jury's experience, not isolated. From March of 2020 to December of 2021, nearly 11,000 hate incidents against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders were reported. Cases in which women were the target make up nearly 62% of those. To what extent do you think this is producing fear within the community? Well, I wonder if it's fear or is it anxiety or is it uh, a realistic assessment about what's going on? For Roland Wong, the numbers are a tough pill to swallow. It's just such an order of magnitude greater now than the numbers that we've seen uh, since 1982, 1983. He was part of the mobilization of Asian Americans when Vincent Chin was killed and was one of the founding members of the American Citizens for Justice, the civil rights organization born in its aftermath. I think the concern is that a Vincent Chin type case can happen again and again and again. What do we need to do to push forward, to move through this and to actually see progress. Most important to me is education. Education through schools and through individuals like Juri Jung, courageous enough to share her story. Today, the 39-year-old is finding healing through dance, recently expressing her struggle in a PSA film. If I really want to do something for my kids, then I need to speak up. With immense hope that in another 40 years, her children won't bear witness to history repeating. In Detroit, 
Amira David, 7 Action News.